Hey guys, Richard at Reefs.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is a little bit different from our traditional videos. It's a vlog of sort. I live in South Florida for those of you guys who's been following my channel for a little bit. And luckily for me, I live in a hub where a lot of companies are near me. And a lot of people in our industry have been coming to visit. And I've been giving this little tour called the Fishonado tour of this unofficial Fishonado land. And for this video, we have a good friend of Terrence, of formerly of Neptune Systems, but now is with Real Reefing, as well as Reefing Report on YouTube. And he came down with his wife on his RV right after the trip of Reefapalooza Orlando, and I drove him around and showed him everything around this area. Let's go. first stop we made was at Bayer Aquarium's facility in Fort Lauderdale. It is known as one of the trailblazers and top aquaculture and captive breeders in the world. They have many amazing specimens like clams, golden basslets, yellow tangs, mandarins, and many other types of beautiful animals for our hobby. I made sure that Terrence got a good feel and understanding of this facility and all the animals that they provide and I'm so looking forward to the content. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll do an excellent job doing them justice. Now, second stop was Frost Museum of Science. We were given behind the scene tour from the curator to see how everything works, all of their in-house aquaculture works, as well as breeding efforts and their efforts and contributions to restoration of critically endangered as well as now extinct Caribbean corals. The highlight of the tour was when we checked out this massive 10,000 plus gallon exhibit in Ocean Gallery. Chris Meckley of ACI Aquaculture supplied quite a few of these animals for this exhibit and what he has told me previously was that curator that has made this exhibit had a vision replicate his diving experience in Philippines. With that massive school of anthias and variety of animals of different colors, size, and shapes, I think this came out true to his vision in a very spectacular way. For those of you guys who's been following my work, you guys may have heard that I actually helped to put an exhibit in this museum. First, here is how it looks now after about two and a half years to close to three years of it being up. I have helped to put this exhibit in this museum that consists of 100% aquaculture corals, captive bred fish and clams, as well as all man-made rocks and products. Now, a lot of companies have come forward to help me with this project. And Terrence actually was one of the big part of this effort. And I was very proud to present to him how the project turned out and how it matured and be easily became one of the best looking exhibit on that floor. We were supposed to meet up with the Zen master of our hobby, Julian Sprung of Two Little Fishies, to talk about his mangroves, clams, and his lagoon tank, and many other stuff. However, unfortunately, he wasn't feeling well, so that will have to wait until next time. Now, let's go to Terrence and Nancy and see what they had to say about this experience. All right, Terrence. So, how was your day today in Miami? Awesome day. The best host in the world. I've got Richard back here. <laughs> He's a, such a great Thank guy. Thank you. We had a great time. <laughs> what was your favorite? I love the giant reef tank a lot, but not nearly as much as the one you curated because it has grown in so awesome from the last time I saw it. I didn't have a lot of faith because of the amount of flow in it, but whatever they did here to put this together with you, it's amazing. It's really cool what you did. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for coming down. I'm really happy that you got to see it in person. Well, the, the, seeing the progress ever since you saw it, like I think first about three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, watching guys. Have a great day. 